Hello everyone. So as I mentioned in the last video that uh, in this video we are going to solve a question on Geeks for Geek site where you will get um, the inter like real interview coding environment like how you have to solve questions in your coding rounds especially so this is how we do it and like we discussed a uh, very special and very important algorithm cadence algorithm in the last video so similarly in this video also we are going to do the same thing all right so this question is uh, longest sub array of even and odds all right so this is a medium level question so let's first of all let's read the details of this question so the question says that you are given an array of size n and we have to find the maximum possible length of a sub array such that its elements are arranged alternately either as even and odd or odd and even. Alright. Now the example is our size of our array is 5 and our array is 10, 12, 14, 7, 8. So the output would be 3 because see the maximum sub array of even rods could be the last three terms this is even this is odd this is even all right and in between there is no like you cannot have any other sub array of even or odds which would be longer than three similarly in this example this is a corner case the array contains both the elements are same so we can only choose either one element as that would be the maximum sub array all right now our uh, what is the task here is that we need we don't need to take any input we have to just complete the function of max even or that it is the maximum length so here there are two things the there are two driver code see let's open this driver code see it includes our header file it, it includes a using namespace std all right let, let's open this header file so here like and this is our int main function where we do the like what how the our maximum or function will be called and stuff all right so what we have to do is we have to just complete this function which has like input uh like which has uh parameters as array and its size and what we have to return we have to return the maximum uh array length of even and odds all right now i gave you a hint in the previous video that this video is going to be based on cadence algorithm so you may like pause this video for two or three minutes might try to you know think of the code and after that you can like implement it and see if your code runs or not all right okay now let me tell you how to do this question let's take this array all right let's have a little little gap here everywhere all right so similarly we are going what we are going to do is we are going to run a loop from here till here and at every element okay we'll like what we'll this element will start the value from here so everywhere there is going to be a value either we'll include this element in our previous sub array or we'll start a new sub array from here so what we are going to see this element is even so we'll check if the previous element is odd or even it's uh, even right so value would be one here also for the first element every time the value is going to be all right now in this element this element is also even so the value is going to be one now this element is what odd and its previous element is even so this is going to be two now this element this element is even and its previous element is odd so this is just going to have a increase of one right so it is going to be 
3. So this is our uh, current values of every element of sub array values of every element and we have to find the maximum of it and this is max right so this is the max of it now this is you know the basic no, no, I mean you mean you know the cadence algorithm so this is just um, how to you know implement the cadence algorithm in this question now you may write or you may write the code on your own all right and see the question number is like just write gfd 23 and the question will arrive and try to write the try to complete the function max even not on your own all right so let me complete this function for you we will have two variables one is res one is going to be cur so these values 1 1 1 2 3 these are we are going to store this in cur now and the maximum of these values is going to be stored in res all right so for the first element um, we are not going to consider this element so our res is also going to be 1 and our cut is also going to be 1 okay now what I'm going to say is that if array i percent 2 is equal to 0 and array i minus 1 percent 2 is not equal to 0 and array i percent 2 not equal to 0 okay let's write it in a bracket yeah and and what array i percent 2 is equal to um, is not equal is not equal to zero and and array i minus one percent two is equal to zero what we're going to do is we are going to uh, have a curve increased And res is going to be max of res and cur. Okay, what we have written here in this condition is that if our current element is even and our previous element is odd, then we are going to increase cur, right? Because it would be alternate. And in the odd condition, we have written if our element is odd and its previous element is even, which also satisfies our condition of alternate. So in both the cases, we are going to increase the current and in the rest we are going to have the max of rest and current. Suppose this is not the case. If our element is even and its previous element is also even or, or, or if our element is odd and its previous element is also odd. What we are going to do? We are going to have a new subarray from this element. So our curve will become 1. Right? Easy. And now what we are going to do simply is we are just going to return rest okay now now let's try and compile this code there's some problem here okay i did a major i did add the for loop here my bad here okay
now let's compile and run let's see if it works okay our output is 3 and our expected output is also 3 let's um, try and submit this code okay yeah so uh, problem solved successfully okay so yeah this was all for this video here we have like did an example on cadence algorithm since i have solved two problems on it you can like reduce yourself like how important this um, cadence algorithm is right and second thing is like we also learned how to solve problems on geeks or geeks try solving other easy problems or like the problems which you solved previously and this was like the coding the coding environment which you'll have in your uh, in the few rounds you will be like given the um, details of the question some examples also 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 one thing you are given the expected time complexity and expected auxiliary space right and you are you are being given your task if you are not expected time complexity was of n and we have we did the same thing we did it in only one single loop okay uh, so yeah what, what i was saying he, uh this was a, a like this is the like real coding interview environment and you will be given like a function to complete and not write the full into main code so here try and solve more questions on gfg which you saw which we did previously in this series and that's it for this video and see you later bye